I'm collaborating with Janet Collection and they asked me to review some wigs for their new line called Color Me and I'm actually really excited to try out these wigs. I haven't worn a synthetic wig in mad long. Like probably the last video that I had a synthetic wig, that was the last time I wore a synthetic wig. And honestly like these new synthetic wigs are so bomb and so fire like these companies are really paying attention like they're paying attention to what's trendy now and because more girls are wearing synthetic wigs they're getting more in tune with like what we like what type of quality we prefer etc so this is the color me um wigs from the janet collection and they asked me to try three one is on my head clearly and these are the other two that i'm going to be trying on in this one video i was going to split this up into three separate videos but i felt like that would just be redundant so why not just do it in one video and i could just see which one i like best so the first one that i'm wearing is in style cute this is the car that comes with it and it's in the color um ptlr yellow i'm not sure what ptlr yellow means but it's lighter up here and then it's um it, the yellow gets a little bit deeper down here and i really like this cut on me it's kind of like an angled bob i don't know if you guys could tell on me it's like an angled bob but on on the girl it looks like an angle bob as well um i'm glad i got this color because i never really wear yellow and i can see how it looks but it comes in a bunch of different colors all down here so you could do like green purple pink whatever and it's also heat resistant up to 360 degrees fahrenheit and um i have a clip where i'm showing you that it came with baby hairs which i thought was really cool because it's annoying having to cut your baby hairs on a wig i did um flatten it a bit with a flat iron my baby hairs are not cooperating with me right now you know when you have um synthetic hairs it's better to use like a got to be gel or a gorilla snot gel but um the parting is really just it's six inches so it comes back here but it's just a little space so it's not like a free part where i could just like part it like this which would have been really cool and um but it has um the lace all around um the lace is really soft it comes in like this medium brown color here is the lace it comes in a medium brown color so that's cool it's it already like kind of matches um i didn't put any um concealer on my part because i don't know which wig i'm going to wear outside yet and i'm sorry if i'm looking that way i'm just looking at my reflection my bad but this hair is like super duper thick um, I didn't really flat iron it because I just love the thickness of it. My flat iron is on like 325. So this is just to like, you know, lay it. But I, you don't even have to lay this big like how I usually do. Like usually I put like um, this Aussie Instant Free Spray. This is one of my favorite free sprays other than the, you know, the got to be that everybody used. This actually is a really good alternative and works well um yeah you don't even have to do that it just it just lays really nicely i went over it with a flat iron like twice and it just it just laid down really nice and the hair is soft it does shed a bit like i notice i'm getting like a couple strands here and there but nothing too crazy it's not tangly and the fibers they feel really good so i'm actually really liking this wig okay so before i go this is how i ended up putting um that yellow bob wig i don't know like this style is just super duper cute to me and i just i like doing different stuff with the wigs you know and i just thought like this would have been just cute to do it's super simple you could do it because um the whole edge is lace it's not just like a four by four and yeah like this is just different just a little half up half down type of thing to do um we've seen a lot of girls do this with um like their frontals or whatnot and i think it's cute to do when you have um when you have like you know just a regular wig to do 
and I just made sure that you can't really see any of the tracks. You know, like some wigs, they're kind of like, you can see the tracks. So I just kind of just made it so that you can't really see it. And I just think it's, it's cute, you know? I like it. It's giving me like 90s vibes. Like, um, what's the, what is the name of those girls? So tell me, oh, the Spice Girls. Yeah, it's giving me Spice Girls vibes. So yeah, this is how I'm gonna be wearing it today. I love it, but I just love this style. It's so cute. You can even like do a bun if you want it. Like some Chinese samurai bun. That's, it just gives me like ninja vibes. And I wanna wear my hair like this in black. So I'm just practicing, you know? Okay, so this is the second wig. And um, this is the chic wig in um, PTLR Blue Mix. So like I said, that's why I think the PTLR means like ombre because this wig is clearly ombre. And actually this color is really nice. It's another bob. And this is this bob is angled as well as you can like see. Yeah, it's angled on the side. Um, this hair, is actually a different texture than the first wig I tried on the cute wig. Um, this, these fibers are more silky and not as yakky as the other one. I actually prefer the yakky textured one. I just don't know why. I guess um because with this type of fiber, like I just affiliate that with like tangling and matting and stuff. But this wig is actually super duper cute I really like this way I'm just flat ironing it a little bit just so that you know it's all together it's kind of like flipping up just because of how it's resting on on me but um I just flat ironed it and I um put some hairspray to flat iron this side just so that I can get a real flat look I would say well, this wig is pretty tight, but I never, I don't really talk about like the wig cap size because I feel like synthetic wigs are made um, to fit all types of heads. But I know some people are like, oh, this is big head friendly or small head friendly. Honestly, I would not know the difference. But this is the wig. Let me show you like the back. So yeah, that's how it looks if you guys can kind of just like see so it's just like a longer bob which i really like it gives you some versatility i wonder how this would look in the yellow like now i'm just thinking like how all the wigs would look in the different colors like that would have been cool if i had the different like the same colors and like different wigs but this color is nice like i would definitely go out with this color. I like the yellow one better, but I'm kind of like getting into this blue. I don't know, it's real cute to me. In the hair, it just feels good. It doesn't, um, it is shedding, but it's not terrible. And they said that the parting is hand tied. I don't know what that means, but it gives it, it makes it really thin. So I would suggest that you put like some concealer on it just so that it can look more as real as possible, you know, frontal vibes but it's laying like super duper flat, as you guys can see, like it's real, real flat, real. I really like that, because I hate wigs that look wiggy. And the only reason why I didn't put concealer is because I don't know which wig I'm gonna wear yet, but at the end, I'm gonna have on the wig I'm wearing out today, and then you can see like how I'm about to finesse it. So I have one more wig to try on, so this is, the last wig and um this is the pretty wig in the color pb gray light rainbow and so it's basically like a brown on top with the gray but there's like a pastel rainbow inside um this wig is giving me real wiggish vibes um the color i'm not too crazy about i don't like the fact that it's brown up here and then gray honestly this wig would have been bomb if it was fully gray like fully gray um this also this on um, here also has that yakky hair texture that i like 
you know, I just like it because it gives the wig a sort of fullness. It has a six inch parting, but it's only a little line of parting. So, um, you know, just be aware of that. Like I said, I didn't put any um, concealer just because I want you guys to see the wig like in its natural state. I like this wig the least mainly because of the curl pattern. Um, I don't understand it. I'm not feeling it. And also, you know, the color I'm not too fond of. I just want to straighten this wig actually. Like just straighten it a little bit just so that I could see how I just know this wig would just look better if it was straight, honestly. So this is what the wig looks like. Um just straightens a bit and then I flatten the part right here. Um this wig does shed a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm not really feeling it like that. Um just because of the fact that it sheds. Um this hair is actually really thick and full, so I like that. And the color I think is interesting. Like I said before, if it was fully gray or just like a more ashier brown, I would like that better. Good thing it's not jet black. I know like wigs in the past they've had a habit of making the top jet black. I'm just like, that does not look cute. But yeah, this wig is it's nice. I wouldn't wear this in the summertime just because it's so freaking full. Like you're gonna be so hot, it's gonna sweat, your neck is gonna sweat, and it's gonna tangle up, and that's not gonna be good at all. But um, overall, out of all the wigs, my favorite one is the yellow one. Just because of the hair texture and the cut and everything, it just looks nice and it came with baby hairs. None of the other wigs um, had the baby hairs that was out already. So that's just interesting to me. I wonder why they decided to not um, put baby hairs on the other wigs. But um, all the wigs are pretty nice. The lace was really soft, which I like. I hate putting hard lace on my head. Like it just hurts and it doesn't feel comfortable. When you wear a wig, you wanna be comfortable. But um, yeah, so those are all the wigs. I hope you guys enjoyed this like mini little lookbook of the wigs from this Color Me collection from Janet. Um, if you wanna see me wearing these wigs on just regular, you know, or how I switched it up and whatnot, make sure you check out um, my Instagram and my Snapchat. All the links will be listed down below um, with my social media and these wigs. And leave a comment below to let me know which wig you like the best for me and which, which wig would you rock. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for my next video.